hello and welcome to my channel uh, this week I am doing a makeover on this little uh, magazine holder uh, and I'm gonna turn it into a holder for hand towels in my bathroom the first thing I did uh, was to remove the uh, wooden ornament uh, uh, at the front of the, the panels uh, and I just used a screwdriver and a hammer and pried it underneath and uh, it came off quite uh, easily. Next I removed the trim uh, around uh, the edges uh, in the same manner. I then uh, started sanding the whole piece down using sandpaper uh, grit 80 at first and then I finished the whole thing uh, using uh, grit uh, 120. And here I'm uh, removing the handle, uh, just uh, unscrewing the screws and uh, taking uh, the handle uh, apart the same way I did uh, with the front decor. And here I'm prepping uh, the small panels that I'm going to have in the, at the front of my uh, uh, towel holder. I already painted it and now I'm just finishing them off with some uh, white wax from Nordic Chic. And here is the finished uh, result. Uh, all the panels are dry and uh, here is a little spindle that I cut off uh, an old rocking chair. And I just love the color variation on it. Uh, and I think it will uh, suit this little towel holder very well. Uh, and here you can see how I plan to uh, position the panels. And uh, now I'm going to use some uh, wood glue uh, to attach uh, the wood uh, on the front here. Uh, I'm just adding uh, you know, a bit here and there and using um, a brush to apply it uh, evenly all over. Um, and the next thing I did then, attach the wood and use my nailer to uh, fasten it. Uh, and I did not measure uh, the distance between the little uh, pieces of wood, I just eyeballed it. And now for uh, attaching the spindle. Uh, I'm using I put it uh, in between the two holes on the side there uh, so I know exactly where to shoot my nail. Uh, I'm going to cover those holes uh, with some wood filler uh, after. And now I'm removing uh, the nails uh, inside here. Uh, they were quite long, so I just cut them down uh, to make sure uh, they didn't stick out uh, anymore. Uh, they're quite thin, uh, so it was quite easy to, uh, to do that. And now time for some decor. Uh, here I've cut out a round uh, uh, shape uh, out of paper and then I'm just tracing uh, lightly around it. I can barely see it. Uh, and here I have some transfers, um, uh, leaf transfers. And uh, this is uh, from uh, IOD, uh, from the collection uh, Whispering Willow. Uh, and I just cut all the pieces uh, apart and now here I'm kind of fiddling with it, trying to figure out how uh, I want them 
uh, I'm just rearranging and uh, thinking about how it's gonna work. I did end up just uh, applying uh, all the leaves that I cut out at random uh, and not following any kind of pattern, just uh, putting leaves uh, here and there where I thought it was needed. I also um, layered them, uh, as you can see, uh, when I go on. I will say though, uh, layering uh, transfers is uh, quite easy, but you have to make sure uh, that you don't uh, accidentally uh, scratch uh, onto something uh, that's already there so make sure you just uh, uh, scrape on top of the plastic uh, of the transfer and here i'm using a stencil that i made in cricut uh, design space uh, i printed it out on a sticky cardstock so it sticks very well to the surface I'm trying to use a sponge to apply the uh, rustic uh, wax, uh, but it's not uh, working very well. So I got a small pencil, uh, a brush I mean, and then I'm just uh, applying it with uh, a small uh, paintbrush. And uh, that worked uh, very well. And I'm using uh, the wax uh, for the word. Uh, instead of paint because I wanted uh, the same uh, tone, uh, the color as on the sides. So that's why I used that. And here we are the next day and I'm removing the stencil. I let it dry completely and uh, it worked uh, perfectly. Um, and now I'm uh, gonna cover the two screw holes on the each side uh, with some uh, brown uh, filler wood filler and you can uh, you can barely see the holes now or you can't see them and here is the fabric I'm gonna line uh, the inside um, of my towel holder I got some uh, glue uh, it's uh, wood glue uh, and mixed with water and I'm just using my nails to press down the sides uh, and applying the glue and uh, firmly pressing down uh, again uh, and I did the same on uh, both sides and here I'm getting ready to uh, attach the fabric to the inside of my towel holder uh, I applied the glue uh, just uh, hung the fabric on one side and then used my hands to smooth it out and fold it in. Uh, I guess I could have used uh, uh, some kind of thin um, paneling on the inside, uh, but I didn't have that, so I just decided to go uh, with some fabric. It won't be completely uh, smooth uh, on the inside because of... Uh, the holes on that uh, front panel but uh, uh, I don't mind since uh, I'm gonna use it uh, for towels and uh, it won't show anyway The next thing I did was to seal uh, the whole thing uh, using a clear uh, wax from Nordic Chic. And I just applied a, a light coat all over and uh, let that dry for a day. And here I'm ready to decorate uh, the other side. Uh, I'm going to have one side of this always facing uh, the wall. Uh, so I decided to do a Christmas uh, 
decor on, on the other side uh, so that I can use it uh, for Christmas as well and just uh, flip it around. Uh, and uh, here I'm starting to uh, do the same thing as on the front and it's also going to be a wreath. The final thing uh, I did was to add some feet uh, on this little uh, towel holder and this is some wooden uh, cutoffs from some spindles I think that I had uh, lying around uh, and I sanded them down a bit and, uh, and now I've marked uh, the spot where they're gonna uh, be underneath uh, and uh, making a little hole uh, with a pen in the middle. Uh, so I know where to drill. I used uh, wood uh, screws and I also put wood glue on top of uh, each uh, foot so they will stay firmly in place. I hope you got some inspiration from my uh, little uh, makeover uh, and I really hope uh, you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.